Good morning. Thank you for letting me be here, for picking me. Yeah. I'm so grateful to be here and enjoying this so much. And this is my first time to hear you. And um, my question is, um, I have such a strong feeling. I work on myself spiritually in a lot of ways and have for a long, long time. Does that mean you get out of the way? <laughs> what I have is... Most of you are working so hard you are in your way. Continue. I have a strong feeling of unworthiness, and I feel like I'm, I start to feel like I'm better. My, my whole goal is to be a good enough person, because I'm always afraid somehow I'm going to say or look at someone and hurt them or do something to destroy a relationship or make a mistake that is, and it's just, it's always been my whole life, tr me trying to be a good enough person, that it's hard to get to you know anything why, else. You know why that doesn't improve for you? Because you're looking for love in all the wrong places and we get what you're talking about when you are physically focused and interacting with others it's logical that you would be aware of them and you would be aware of their awareness of you it's easy to understand all of that isn't it but the thing that we want this day to help you to understand and you're so close to getting this this conversation will help a lot is that there's a very conditional living in that you're watching them for their response and then you're trying to adjust your life to improve their response because you want them to get you and you don't want to hurt them as you say you want to be of advantage to them but the reason that this approach isn't working very well for you and won't work for you is because there's not a constant that you can, under those conditions, that you can focus upon that lets you know how you're doing. If you're behaving in a way and then someone is observing you and then you're observing their observation, you're all part of the same vibrational goings on and you're all attracting based upon that. And many times you're out there on the bleeding edge so to speak very far apart from your inner being it's only when you show yourself what it feels like to be in concert with your inner being that then you know what to do as you are moving through the world with others now you started in a really sound footing place you said all of my life I have been wanting to find worthiness did you say that? Mm -hmm. Which is the same thing as saying, all of my life, I have felt my inner being's influence and I've wanted to find my way to it. Now, if that's true, and it is, that you've wanted to find worthiness and you knew how much love your inner being, your source has for you, if you had just looked there for it, you would have found it. But you didn't, you freaky human. <laughs> Instead of looking toward your inner being, who is loving you and would meet you with that, you looked to other humans who didn't have it either. So you're looking for it over there. And the thing that trips you up is that, let's say that you knew someone, your grandmother, your mother, a teacher, a friend, a lover. Let's say you met someone along your way who was tuned in, tapped in, turned on. Someone who did feel worthy. Someone who was in alignment. Someone who did look for positive aspects. Someone who did find satisfaction and more. Someone who was pretty consistently in alignment. And that person, you knew them. And they often held you as their object of attention. So they're tuned in looking at you and you feel the benefit of all of that love coming your way but what happened is then you start looking for other humans that make you feel that way not understanding that the human that made you feel that way was just a conduit of source energy and you don't need another human to be your conduit for source energy you can go directly to the source of source energy so what we're talking about here is the difference between conditional love 
and unconditional love. Now, unconditional love is your inner being loves you and you don't have to stand on your head. You don't have to prove worthiness to your inner being. Your inner being will never cease to love you. Humans are not so much that way. They love you when you're by their standards good. They don't love you when you're by their standards not good. And so it's sort of an iffy situation with them to which you have grown accustomed. So your insecurity about your own worthiness is based upon others' inability to be in connection and always love you. Isn't that good to know? I don't feel worthy because I needed you to love me and sometimes you were out to lunch and didn't. So my assumption was because you weren't loving me. I didn't assume it's because you weren't connected to love. I assumed I was not lovable. I didn't assume it was because you weren't connected to where worthy comes from. I assumed I was not worthy. So you've been evaluating your worthiness based upon the opinions of others who aren't in a position to give you a valid opinion because they're not tuned in either. It's like when you vacuum your living room, you want to plug the vacuum cleaner in, don't you? For good results. And when you're looking for love from someone, don't you want them to be plugged in? But can you control whether they are or not? No. So why not just plug yourself in? Tune in. Tune in to the pure positive energy that is you. Now we know you understand all of this in terms of the concept of it. We get that you get the laws of the universe. So what are you going to do about it? In other words, what is a way to apply this? Well, practice that in, in meditation and in, in bringing myself back, like you said, to the goal of satisfaction. So when you are in meditation, do you find worthiness? I don't meditate very well, but I do. I do, in, I do find worthiness so, a lot of the time. So when you that. do meditate, it's not necessarily that you find something that you could call worthiness, but at least in a quieted mind, you don't feel unworthy. That's true. I can go back to feeling a place of being unconditionally loved and forgiven. But so you don't meditate very often. So I pray a lot, but I don't meditate a lot. When you pray, are your prayers prayers of appreciation? Or are they prayers of provide this missing thing for me? How? I pray for thankfulness and how I can be of service. And I get mad at myself if I don't feel I was as kind to somebody as I should have been. Do you think that the vacuum cleaner is really of service if it's not plugged in? you're the same. In other words, if you're not tuned in, you don't have anything to give. And if you feel unworthy, you're not tuned in and you don't have anything to give. So you don't always feel that way though, do you? No, I don't. I don't. I, my life is very Do you think that you've learned in a lot of ways? Do you think that you've picked up along your physical trail somewhere the idea, the notion that you should have humility and that somewhere in that humility, there is a lack of worthiness. Because sometimes when people reach for humility, they think that humility is on one end and arrogance is on the other end of that stick. We kind of can feel that with you. And so you don't want to be arrogant. You'd rather be humble, but in your humility, you sometimes are giving up your connection to your knowing. And that connection to knowing is what worthiness feels like. Clarity and worthiness are vibrational harmony. I feel a lot of guilt. I have a lot of guilt, you know. And I get over the guilt sometimes. So what do you feel guilty about? Well, I don't even want to go back to my whole life. Well, we don't want you to either. Yeah. <laughs> but you didn't say, I felt guilt. You said, I feel guilt. So what are you feeling guilt about now, these days? Well, one thing is, you know, I decided to leave this church and chaplain team because I don't like um, the new minister and his message. And um, there were some people disappointed about that, but I, I felt it was you the right thing to do. So you feel guilt. This is really good. Not so good, but really good conversation. <laughs> it's all right. You feel guilty about not pleasing those people but the reason that you decided not to please them is because you could feel that something else was better for you. So you followed your guidance a little ways, but then you feel guilty about following your guidance. There's something really worth discussing here, isn't there? 
We're just going to ask you a few questions. Do you acknowledge that you are an extension of source energy? I intellectually know that. Sometimes that's real hard for me because I still have this thing about I'm so guilty and bad, you know, and I'm different. I mean, that, I know that's the ego. Yes, I do know that, really. I know that. I know. So as brilliant as all you humans are, have any of you managed to scrape enough dirt together and launch it into orbit? Then there must be something else going on. Just use your logic a little bit in order to kind of feel the big picture and let your logic help you to realize that there's a whole lot more going on than just this physical and even this human experience. You see, if we can help you to remember that every emotion you feel is about your alignment with that greater you or that misalignment, if you can just trust your emotions, trust that when you feel love, you're hooked up. Can you explain to us any difference between being in a moment of love and being in a moment of worthiness? Um, love feels better because love is um, so soft and comforting and it just, it serves me and I feel like everyone else, you know, and worthiness, when I'm feeling love, I really feel worthiness. Well, that's the point that we were making. So what you just said to us, we're going to give it back to you the way you presented it verbally, but even more vibrationally. Love and worthiness are identical vibrations because when you are tuned into who you are, you are the love that your inner being is. And when you're tuned into who you are, you feel about you the way your inner being feels about you. So they are identical vibrations. But as a human, the feeling of love is softer and easier for you than the feeling of worthiness because you've practiced not feeling worthy. So the word worthy automatically takes you away from who you really are while the word love sort of brings you back to who you really are. And that's just an individual observation that we're making about you. We're not saying that that's the way it is across the board. It's just easier for you to accept that love is like God, while worthiness is something that you're not able to accomplish. And we want you to know that they are the same thing, that when you feel worthy, you are in concert with the source energy. So now let's stay here for a little bit. This is helpful to everyone. What is it that you said you feel guilty about? And can we agree that when you feel guilty, you're focused on something in a way that your inner being isn't. You're seeing something differently than your inner being sees it. Do you understand enough about your guidance system to acknowledge that that is true? Mm -hmm. So when you feel guilt, what does that mean? You're looking at something different than your inner being is looking at it. So what did you say you feel guilty about? What's the subject? Leaving the chaplain team at my church. All right. So you feel guilty about that, which is different than how your inner being feels. So can you extrapolate from that what your inner being might be feeling? My inner being I feel, feels at peace and wants me to go a different direction. Your inner being knows that all is well with you. Your inner being is loving you anyway. Your inner being is not judging you as doing something inappropriate. Your inner being is reveling in you moving in the direction of who you are. How are you going to know? If you don't know what you don't want, how are you going to know what you do want? In all this discussion that we've had here today, there's something that we really want to bring forward into the conversation and emphasize in a way that you can all really feel it. And that is, you want to acquaint yourself with your guidance system. So you want to identify what is it that feels good to you and what is it that doesn't feel so good to you. Because where you stand in any moment in time, there is a path of lesser resistance. Your inner being is never saying to you, we want you to go directly to everything that you want. Your inner being is saying to you, since you have resistance on your path that you've put there, and it's okay, your inner being is saying, this would be a way, and then that would be a way, and then that would be a way, and then that would be a way. Your inner being is always just leading you to what feels better and therefore is better on your way of unfolding. Your inner being is not saying, you must do it this way. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. And so tell us again what you feel guilty about. And um, now I don't. It's just that I realize. <laughs> yeah, now I don't. <laughs>